Hey, this is Ryan in the Instructional Technology Center, and today I'm going to be talking to you about something that oftentimes goes forgotten about a Blackboard course, and that's the visual design of your course. Now, uh, if you're taking or you're watching this video through the uh, uh, self-paced Blackboard training, uh, then you've already learned lots about Blackboard, uh, probably how to use the Grade Center, upload documents, give tests, give assignments, all those sorts of things. Uh, and now you're probably looking to really make your course as engaging as possible at this point. And so I wanted to give some tips on just how to, uh, you can really uh, make your course more engaging and really draw students to the content when they when they sign up for your course and they see it for the first time so uh, one thing just to uh, to keep in mind when you're making your course uh, visually is just to use lots of pictures and lots of video and uh, and and keep things interesting in that way don't just make everything text and uh, and another really easy thing that you can do and that we're gonna actually talk about in this video is uh, add a banner to the top of your blackboard course so that when students get in that's the first thing that they see at the top and this is really easy to do and uh, uh, we're going to talk about other things that you can do for your course, changing the buttons and adding pictures and things uh, in the next video. But in this one, I just want to talk a little bit about creating that banner. So we're in Blackboard Cell Pace right now. And what I want to do is uh, bring your attention down to the left in the control panel. There's a tab called Customization. And inside Customization, there's a, uh, a link called Teaching Style. And we might have touched on this really early in a Blackboard training, but I want to go over it again. And we'll go over it more, actually, in the second video. So I'm going to click on Teaching Style. And this is going to give uh, lots of different ways that we can change how our course looks. And we'll go into that next. But I want to bring your attention to the very bottom where it says Select Banner. And so uh, this is where you would browse your computer and add your banner. Now, Blackboard doesn't give you any way to actually create a banner inside here. You're going to have to do it in a different program, maybe uh, Photoshop or I guess Word. Um, but uh, if you don't have photo, and I would suggest a photo manipulation and not maybe PowerPoint or or, or Microsoft Word. Uh, if you if you haven't if you don't have a use Photoshop or anything like that though, I might suggest Pixlr. And uh, Pixlr is a uh, a free uh, online photo manipulation software that uh, you use entirely in browser, so you don't have to pay for it. You don't have to download any software. Nothing. If you never used Pixlr before, uh, there's a little pop-up that's going to drop down right above me, and uh, you can link to uh, some videos that I've created about uh, Pixlr and how to use it. Uh, so for right now, I'm just going to jump into Pixlr and create the banner for uh, for our self-paced course. Uh, I'm probably speed it up so that you don't have to sit there and watch me actually create it, um, but uh, that'll give you a good idea just where, where to be thinking about. Now, when you're creating the banner, I would suggest keeping it simple. You know, just do maybe the name of the course and, and maybe your name underneath. Uh, you know, keep it simple in the background, maybe one color or two, uh, just, or, or, or maybe even a single picture for the background. Uh, nothing too fancy, but but uh, keep it simple. That's, that's a good uh, good start. So let's jump into Pixlr and I'll, and I'll get this banner ready. Okay, so we have the banner all created. Let's add it to our course. So down here at the bottom, and remember where I'm in, I'm in uh, customization and then teaching style. And down here at the bottom, we're just gonna browse our computer and I'm going to attach that self-paced banner. Great, and I'm gonna hit submit. Okay, so the st course style has been updated and I'm gonna go to my welcome screen so we can see it. 
great, it's popped in there. Now you can see that there is a little bit of white on each side and uh, what that is is that's because this is a solid 900 frames and uh, Blackboard is somewhat responsive so as I drag in you can see that it's uh, it's going to either take away white or add white if I if I drag it out farther. So that's why I always say you know it doesn't it doesn't there's no hard uh, uh, pixel dimension that it needs to be but I always say that about 100 by 900 is a good is a good place to start so now you can see we have a great banner for our for our self-paced blackboard and in the next video we'll talk about changing some of those buttons adding some pictures doing some other things to really spice up our course